A simple erosional fact is that the width of a riverbank is direct evidence of the width the river once was. We can use this law to look back in time and see the massive watersheds of the past. This is where sheet water flow coalesced to form megascale rivers. The term underfit stream describes a stream that is a great deal smaller than the riverbanks that surround it. To get an idea of how underfit a stream is, we can calculate the ratio between the modern stream width and the past stream width. Let's take a look at some notable underfit streams. Water currents can smooth out the terrain they go over, creating flat riverbeds. This feature verifies megascale rivers. And shows how terraces are created. The flow of a decreasing river can leave behind a series of flat riverbeds. These are called river terraces, and each is separated by a cliff. Thus, we can see the many stages of a stream's width. Both sides of the bank are not always preserved, but we can still determine vertical water height from them. Therefore, all these rivers have decreased greatly. We can see many river terraces inside the Grand Canyon. And we come to find that there are Grand Canyon-like features all over the world. These landscapes are terraced to the summit, and each terrace conveys water level. This is the enigma of the Siberian Traps. Siberian Traps are a great obstacle for the Ice Age theories. If you are still skeptical that these are river terraces, then observe these river ruts that traverse the high hillsides of these areas. When a concentrated river reaches an opening, it expands, thus creating these expansion bar features at cliff edges.